Becoming successful in your life and in your business is not easy. So in today's YouTube video, I want to talk to you about everything that I personally sacrificed to become successful and get to where I am at today. Five years ago, I got fired from my nine to five desk job. I quickly searched the internet on how I can make money online from home without ever having to return to a normal nine to five job ever again, because I personally hated working for someone else. I hated having a boss. I hated commuting to work. I hated waking up early. Hate is a strong word, but believe me when I say this, I hated all of those things. It's just not in my personality to work a nine to five and I never plan on going back. If you guys do not know me, my name is Tamara T. I have spent years building my Amazon FB business. I am now a multi-millionaire and I want to be honest with you today and tell you everything I sacrificed personally to get to where I am at today. So I know you guys watch a lot of YouTube. I know you are on the internet researching about this online business model, but truthfully, there is so much more that goes behind everything that you see online. Now, obviously, a lot of people show the glamorous sides of Amazon FBA. Everything about the Amazon FBA business model is actually, honestly, pretty amazing but the steps that you have to take to get to the next level in this Amazon FBA world is kind of hard, especially for beginners. And when I say kind of hard, it really depends on your level of experience and exposure to having an online business. If you are someone that is like me and you came from a job and you knew nothing about the online world and you know nothing about selling products online, you know absolutely nothing, this is going to be extremely hard and extremely frustrating. However, I've been doing this for a few years now and I have also mentored 2,500 people how to do the same to become successful selling products on Amazon FBA so they can make a lot of money as well and so they can replace their income or never have to go back to a nine to five job. But every single successful Amazon seller and every single successful entrepreneur is going to tell you that you have to sacrifice a lot of things in your personal life to get to where you are. Why do you have to sacrifice all of these things? Because nothing worth having in life comes for free, nothing. If we just sit down for a moment and think about everything in our lives, everything that you have in your life, did you have to work for it? Of course. For many of us, if you do not come from a wealthy background, then you have to work hard for everything that you have. So I'm not just talking about money, I'm not just talking about business, but you have to work hard for your relationships. You have to work hard in school. You have to work hard at your nine to five job. Everything worth having comes with sacrifice. So it is no different when you are starting your Amazon FBA business business, there are so many sacrifices that you have to make. So I want to talk about the top five sacrifices that I made to get to where I am at today. Because a lot of you guys see me on Instagram and you see me live this dream life and I can actually say that I do have my dream life right now. I have everything in my life. And I sometimes wake up in the morning and I cannot believe everything that I have, but it took so much to get here. And I want to be honest with you about that because if you are not ready or if you are not willing to sacrifice these things, then you're never going to find true success in your life. You ever wonder sometimes when you look at someone and you think, how do I get to the level where they are at? What is so special about them? How do they achieve everything that they have? It's because they made these sacrifices. So the number one biggest sacrifice that I made is sacrificing my time with family and friends. Ever since I started my entrepreneurship journey, you guys have watched me grow. If you are a long time follower, then you probably see all of these things changing in my life. I stopped hanging out with certain people. I did a video on this. If you want to watch it on my YouTube video, it's this video right here, why I do not go out and why I do not have any friends. So truthfully, I do have a few friends, but a lot of people I just cut ties with and I just don't put my energy and time into it because they did not serve me and I did not find value in the relationship that we had. So I talked about my parents a few times, I talked about my family a few times, but I sacrificed my time with them because they do not support and they do not see entrepreneurship as like 
a beautiful thing. To me, it's everything because this is everything that I have built from the ground up. But with my family, traditionally in the Asian culture, they wanted me to become a doctor or a lawyer or have like some fancy degree. And even though I explained to them that I am making so much more money right now compared to being like this doctor or lawyer or whatever the hell they wanted me to be, they still do not recognize that entrepreneurship is a beautiful thing. They think that it's silly. They think that it's not going to get me anywhere, even though I have proven time and time again that it has gotten me somewhere. Believe me, it has. So that is why I sacrificed my time with family. I did not want to be surrounding myself with people that don't support me, that are always against me, and that just talk a lot of trash about the decisions that I make in life. Like I am a full grown woman. I think I know what I am trying to do with my life by now, but with my family, they were just really against everything that I am doing. And honestly, quite honestly, they don't even know what I do today. I try to explain it to them, but they don't really get it. They don't understand it. And it's just a bunch of these stupid questions and worries that they have. And I cannot surround myself with those types of people. Even though they are my family, I just do not put my energy into it. We may meet up to grab a bite or if there's like an errand to run or something, but I do not put my time and energy into my family. And that is the truth because they are kind of toxic. They are very stuck in the old school way on how people should be making money. The typical way, going to school, getting a degree, spending 10 years and then getting into debt and you know how it goes. So they are all about that and I am not about that. So I sacrificed my time with them. I still love my family. I just don't talk about them and I don't have anything to really share with you or talk about because we are on different pages. With the whole friends situation, there's just people that I backed away from. So we are still friends, but I just don't really wanna talk, you guys. Like I always see people spending so much of their time and energy building all these friendships and relationships and they go nowhere. These are not the people that serve you. These are not people that push you. These are not people that teach you how to be a better version of yourself. So I backed away from a lot of people in my life as well. And this was one of the biggest sacrifices because a lot of people I still see, they always tell me, I want to be successful just like you. I want to become a multimillionaire. Teach me how to do Amazon FBA. And not to be judgmental, but I know right away who is a good candidate to become an Amazon FBA seller. I just know right away whether or not a specific individual will succeed because it takes so much more than learning this business model. It takes so much more to succeed. And a lot of people are just so stuck on hanging out with the wrong crowd and wasting their precious time on things that don't matter. So this is the biggest sacrifice that you are going to have to make. I'm not telling you to stop hanging out with your family and friends. That's not what I am saying at all. But what I am trying to say is you need to take your surrounding very seriously. And once that changes, you will see everything change in your life as well. The second thing I sacrificed to become successful was money. I put so much of my money into learning everything I possibly can. And I did not have a mentor when I started Amazon FBA. I was doing a lot of research online. I lost thousands of dollars. I talked about this on my YouTube channel before, and I was one of those people that failed my way to success. So if I had a mentor in the past, I may have gotten there quicker. I may have saved myself over $10,000, but I was very stubborn and I didn't have a mentor. So I failed my first time around. And then finally, my second time around, I found a winning product. And I talked about my winning product in this YouTube video right here. I actually only started with $300. I know it's crazy and you are not going to believe it until you watch that YouTube video. So make sure you watch it. If you are someone that is on a tight budget and you just don't know how to afford this business, then watch that video because there are other ways how you can start selling products on Amazon without a huge investment. So I think to this day, I have probably invested over $100,000 into online mentors to help me to get to where I am at today. So this is not Amazon FBA mentors, it's just 
getting a mentor to help me with my personal life and my business life and to make better decisions so I become better at everything that I do. And I've spent so much money on this. I also found mentors to help me with my YouTube channel, to help me with sales, to help me with my online coaching program. I do have an Amazon FBA coaching program as well. I am a full-time mentor and it's been really good. It's just crazy to think how life would be if I never had these mentors. So I met all of my mentors through other connections and other uh, online friends that I made online when I started my entrepreneurship journey. If you guys need help with starting your Amazon FBA business, or if you are looking for a mentor, I am taking applications right now. All you need to do is click on the free training link in the YouTube description below, enter your name, enter your email address, and watch my training to the end because you may be qualified to book a one-on-one -on -one call with my team, and we will guide you through this entire Amazon FBA business, help you choose a winning product to set you up for success. So again, that's the free training. It's in the YouTube description below. Back to what I was saying, I think one of the main reasons that people fail in their Amazon FBA business is because they just do not get the proper support and help that they need. They think that they can figure everything out on their own. And you know what? You might be able to figure everything out on your own, but it's going to cost you so much money, you will probably go bankrupt. I'm not even kidding. I was lucky because I had a lot of savings when I started this online business. So I was okay to lose some money here and there, but here and there, I ended up losing over $10,000 total before I found my winning product. So I think back when I started, there were not many mentors around. It was still very new. Amazon FBA was still very new. So I figured it out all on my own, but I do not suggest you to do the same. There is so much help you can get nowadays to start your own Amazon business. The third sacrifice I made to become successful was I stopped doing mindless activities. So for example, I stopped cooking, I stopped baking, and I even stopped listening to music. Now, for some of you, when I told you this in a separate YouTube video, I don't remember which video now, but I mentioned this before, and I got some comments from people telling me that, wow, that is so extreme. Like, oh, you're crazy for doing that. Like, why would you stop doing that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I stopped doing it because I'd rather use my time to make money. And I don't think a lot of people realize that they should be using their time to make money instead of doing mindless things. Now, I still do work out five days a week. I go do yoga, I lift weights, I do cardio, and I do enjoy that. Now, working out to me is not mindless because all of my creative ideas about business start to come out of nowhere. I start to think of all these creative things that I should be doing in my business when I am going for a run or when I am working out very hard. I don't know why that is, but that is how it is like for me. So that's why I work out. But mindless things like listening to music, I just don't do it in my house. I never play music. I never do. The only time I listen to music is when I am driving or that is pretty much about it. Or sometimes when I am working out, I will listen to music. But a lot of times I don't. And I also don't cook because I find that to be a waste of time. I don't enjoy it. Not like I am good at cooking anyway. It takes so much time to prep, to cook, and then to clean. I just don't have the patience for it. I'd rather use that time to work on my Amazon FBA business. I'd rather use that time to help you guys become successful, to mentor you guys, to coach you guys. I'd rather just do other things. So. I sacrificed all of these activities because I just didn't enjoy them anymore. I did not feel joy when I was doing them and I was much more happier when I was working in my business. Number four, sacrifice is kind of similar to number three. I stopped watching TV. I have so many TVs in this big ass house and I just do not watch TV. Now, sometimes I may watch Netflix if there was a really good show happening. Uh, for example, I really loved watching Ozark. I'm sure you guys all know what that show is. It's about money laundering. Anyways, um, I just don't watch TV. I don't even have cable because it's such a big distraction. I notice when I am driving sometimes, like I would be driving down the street and then I see people Almost every single household has their TV turned on, but then nobody's even really watching it. It's like the strangest thing ever. It's like just background noise. But for me personally, I cannot focus and I cannot concentrate when there is a lot of background noise. I need it to be very quiet, like right now, to think about things, to work on things, and to use that time to really focus 
on things in my business that generate income. So even though I have a lot of TVs in this house, I just do not watch TV. I do not watch it. I don't like it. I don't find joy in doing it. And I also do not play video games. Now lately, I was very curious about this one video game I played when I was a child. Now I think a lot of childhood memories are coming back to me because we are about to have twins. We are doing this through surrogacy in case you are wondering that is why I do not have a pound of fat on me is because I'm not carrying twins, but my surrogate mother is carrying our twins. So in case you are wondering, that's what's going on. Anyway, my twins are about to arrive and I started having all these flashbacks of things that I used to do as a child. So I was playing this one video game, it's called Bomberman and I was the pink bomber, if you guys know what that is. Uh, great, if you don't, then it's just a silly video game. Anyway, I thought about that and I knew I just couldn't spend too much time on it. So what I did was I bought the game and I started playing for like half an hour and I started thinking, oh my gosh, I just could be doing so many other things with this time. And honestly, it wasn't even amusing. It wasn't like the same. It wasn't like back then I would think, oh my God, playing games was so much fun. I would be killing time. And I hate that term. I hate that term killing time because you should be making more time to do more productive things to become successful. So anyway, when I was playing this game, I just thought, okay, I satisfied my craving and now I am just going to go back to doing what is more productive. And let me tell you, playing video games, watching TV to me, in my honest opinion, is not productive. So um, yeah, that's another sacrifice I made and I'm sorry to break it to you, but if you are someone that is hooked on watching TV, hooked on video games, you're never going to get anywhere in your life. Just trust me when I say this, your time should be spent somewhere else working on yourself, working on your business, making more money, taking care of your family, spending time with your friends, whatever it is that you want to do, use your time for that instead. The last big sacrifice I made kind of goes back to what I was just saying about having twins. I sacrificed having a family at a much later age. So in case you guys are wondering how old I am, I'm not going to tell you, but I think I am older than I look. But anyway, um, a lot of people started having kids early like i think people that i follow on social media i see that they were having kids a little earlier than i was but i was just really focused on my business you guys when i found out about the amazon fb business model i just could not pass it up i just could not get away from it because i was scaling my business i was spending so much time on my business to set myself free i'm in a position where i can retire tomorrow if i wanted to but i'm not going to do that because i really love what i do but i spent so much of my time and i sacrificed so much just to make my business become successful that i pushed to a later date on when we should have a family when we should have kids so now i think i am at a really good place in my life to start having children and to start having a family i kind of think i feel a little behind just a little not really but if it were up to me i probably would have had kids a few years ago but it's not up to me, it was up to my business. That's how I saw it. Like that was the importance of spending my time in my business so I can set myself up for years to come. It was that important to me. And how I look at this whole thing now is my business is like my baby. You guys may have heard me say that before, but you have to take your business, your Amazon business or any business that you have, any new entrepreneurship venture that you plan to start, you have to treat it like your baby. It's just as important. So to me, my business will always be uh, my number one baby and then now my twins are baby number two and three and maybe we are thinking about four I don't know but I take it that seriously like my business is my family my business is what is feeding me every day and I will not be here without my business so I take everything very seriously and again I get comments all the time like oh like you should like loosen up a little like do some yells or like you know do that do that and I get all of these random comments and advice from people that are broke or just are is not where I want to be. So don't take advice from people that are not where you want to be. That's like one of the most important things. And I think a lot of people get persuaded into taking advice from someone else who is not someone who you want to become. So this is why I don't take advice from people that are not where I would like to be. So again, with the stupid comments that I get from people, 
Um, they always say, hey, like, you know, you should take life less seriously. You should not be all about your business. You should do this. You should do that. You should do this instead. And then when I look at their life, I'm like, I do not want to be where you are because you're living paycheck to paycheck. You're struggling to pay your bills. You, you don't have the dream life that I want. So I'm not going to listen to you. Anyway, that was the hard truth. So those are all of the things that I sacrificed to get to where I am at today. If you guys enjoyed this YouTube video, then please help me give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure you click on the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a new YouTube video. If you want to leave me a comment, then please do so in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.